To perform this work, you will first need to safely raise and support the vehicle. For additional assistance with that task, please follow the link provided at the end of this video. Begin by inspecting the two front pads. These pads are fine, as you can see from all the brake pad material still on them, red arrows. There is also over a quarter of inch of pad remaining before it gets to its worn wear down sensor, yellow arrow. Once the pads get down to the wear sensor or around a quarter inch of material, it is time to change them. Before you begin working on the brakes, check your brake fluid reservoir. You will need to compress the caliper pistons, which will cause brake fluid to travel back up into the reservoir. You need to make sure there is room for it, red arrow. Carefully clean around the reservoir before you open it as you don't want any dirt or debris getting into it. Be prepared to use a turkey baster or a fluid pump to extract some of the brake fluid if necessary. Make sure whatever you use is clean. You do not want any contaminants getting into the fluid. Before removing the pads, you will need to remove the spring clip, yellow arrow, and the brake wear sensor, red arrow. You can release the spring clip from the upper mount by grabbing the center section with a set of pliers and squeezing it in and down from the top clip, red arrow. Once free from the top, it will pivot down on the bottom, and as always, whenever you are working on your vehicle, you should be wearing safety glasses. You will need to remove the brake wear sensor before completely removing the spring clip. Pivot the clip down and use a set of small flyers to gently remove the sensor, red arrow. Do not pull the sensor out from the wires, you will just damage it. The front calipers can be difficult to compress to remove the brake pads. Sometimes you can wiggle them until you can get a large flathead screwdriver between the pads and rotor. I had to place a reg between the caliper to protect the paint and then use a set of channel locks to squeeze the pads and caliper together, red arrow. Never put a screwdriver between the caliper, piston, and the pads. You can easily damage the dust boot and the pistons. With the pistons and the caliper pushed back, you can simply pull the pads out. Make sure to check the reservoir. If the pads were really worn and the fluid level was high, you will need to push the pistons a fair way to make room for the new pads. If that happens, Use a turkey baster or a fluid pump and carefully remove some fluid from the reservoir, red arrow. Before installing the new pads, make sure to check the condition of the dust boots on the pistons, red arrow. You can see the pistons on the right side have been pushed all the way back in to make room for the depth of the material on the new pads, yellow arrows. With everything inspected and the pistons back, you are ready to install the new pads. Install a little anti-squeal to the back of the new pads and insert them into the caliper. Installation is the reverse of removal. Do not forget to top up the fluid and put the cap snugly back on the reservoir. Pump the brakes a few times to move the pistons into the position on the pads and always follow the brake in instructions that come with your new pads. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.